Hello. In this session, you will learn how to make an assignment. But first, what are assignments in Canvas? Assignments include quizzes, graded discussions, and online submissions, such as files, images, text, URLs, etc. Assignments in Canvas can be used to challenge students' understanding and help assess competency by using a variety of media. So now let's go ahead and make an assignment. From your home page in your course in Canvas, you're going to go to the inner ribbon. You'll notice that you'll see a list of ta tabs. You're going to go to the assignments tab. Click there. If you've never made an assignment before, the tab may be gray. That's okay. Just click the button. You'll notice here on the top of the page, you have two choices to make an assignment or to make a group. If you want to make various groups, just press group, name your group, This helps for differentiation. So if you make groups, you need to make them in advance before you create your assignment. Now I'm going to go over to the second blue box that says plus assignment. We are going to simply click it to add a new assignment. I am going to give my assignment a name. And in the box below, the box that we are currently in, I'm going to go ahead and put my assignment in. I usually like to pre-type out my directions for my students so that I'll have it when I'm ready to make the assignment. So watch the following video and answer the questions below. So here's the video that I have inserted from YouTube. And I have directions after you watch the video, Please click this URL, so I've made a URL and linked it, to answer the questions via Google Doc. To learn how to do this, there is also a video on how to make links to URLs and how to add external tools. Once I have my directions, I see that I can make this assignment a point value. So if I want it to be graded by points, I'm going to click points. I can say, hey, I don't really want to grade for this. I want them to do this, and it's going to be a complete or incomplete. I can change it and say, hey, I want it to be a letter grade. Or I just don't want this graded at all. If I do have a percentage, the percentage has to equal up to 100%. In my assignment group, remember I told you about making groups, I can just assign this to the rubies group or to the emeralds group or to the diamonds group. So for our purposes right now, I'm assigning it to my diamonds group. I can say that because this is worth 100, 100 points, I may not want to include this assignment towards my final grade. If I want that to happen, I simply click here and it will not calculate it towards my final grade. But the students will see a graded point um, value for this, maybe just for me to assess as a, as a pretest. I have various submission types. So if I want a on paper submission, I can give them this assignment and then on paper, they're gonna turn this in. If it's going to be an online submission, then I have to choose what type of submissions um, do I want. Do I want a text entry? Do I want a website URL? No. Do I want a media recording? Or do I want a file upload? I can choose file upload because in my Directions, I told them to upload using Google Docs, so I want a file upload. And I can even restrict the type of file they upload if I wanted to. And I will put the extension. Is this a group assignment? If this is a group assignment, then I can assign grades to each student individually. Or I can say, no, I don't want this to be a group assignment, and I want to give them all the same grade. I would not check that button. Peer review. Do I require my, the, the peers to review each other's paper? Well, I can go ahead and say, yes, I want them to review um, each other's paper before I read it, and I want to manually assign a peer review, or I can automatically assign a peer review. That means the computer will assign them someone to review. How many people? One person review one other peer's paper, or two, 
or three. Usually two is quite enough. And then I can say you need to do this by a certain day. So today we wrote about it and you have up until tomorrow to finish it and to read your peers um, paper as well. And then it can be um, anonymously done. So if I say peer reviews appear anonymously, they don't know who reviewed their paper. Um, I as a teacher will know, but the students will not know. And I can assign this assignment to everyone or I can type the whole class or a specific group of students names. When is this due? Well, yes, earlier I said that it's going to be due tomorrow and I can even give a time by 8 a.m. And then the availability means when do I want this when would I like this to close? So I want it to be available starting today and I want it to close tomorrow at 8 a.m. This field is kind of redundant, but it's there. And if I ever decide to change information in here, then I can notify the users that, hey, I've updated this and I want you to know. If I've created this in advance and I don't want the students to see it, I will just press save. If I'm ready for the students to see it right now, I'm going to press save and publish. Now you can see my assignment is here. This assignment does not count towards the final grade, so that's a banner for me to let me know and for the students to know also. When they press the button, it's going to take them directly to in December 2019, video. the Chinese authorities notified When they click the link, the link is going to take them to a Google Doc and it's going to force copy the doc. If you want to learn more on how to force copy, please watch our video, Force Copy Google Docs. Thank you. Now you know how to make an assignment in Canvas.